That same night, an angel had also visited Joseph in a dream and told him to get up and take Mary and the child to Egypt, where they would be safe from King Herod, who wanted to kill the child. So, warned by this, Joseph got up, and as it was still dark, he escaped with Mary and Jesus to Egypt, where they stayed in safety, until at last King Herod had died. After the death of Herod, Joseph had another dream, in which an angel told him it was safe to take Mary and Jesus back to the land of Israel. So the next day, Joseph got up and after another long journey, they returned back to the land of Israel and made their home in a town called Nazareth. It's good to pause at this point in our nativity story to remember that Jesus fled from his home with his mum and dad, that Jesus was born into quite chaotic and dark times and that he lived amongst danger and uncertainty. Jesus was a refugee and then grew up to be someone who tried his best to show everyone how to live a life of love. And so we're going to pause now. Maybe you'd like to find a candle to light or draw a picture or something that will help you to reflect and remember other people. So I'm going to pray for those who face uncertainty and danger. The people who feel scared and tired. I'm going to pray for the homeless, people who have nowhere comfortable and warm to be this Christmas, and those who have to flee to leave their home, just like Jesus did. And I want to pray for those who care for the sick and the vulnerable, who live lives of love, who look after other people, even when it's a bit dangerous. And I'm going to pray for all of those people that we're missing, the people we can't be with and haven't seen for a long time. And I'm going to pray for all of us, that we will be people who are like light in the darkness. Amen. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round yon virgin mother and child, holy infant so tender. So 